This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So when this fight was announced way back when, of course, it's now been rescheduled and, of course, it played out tonight. When it was first announced, I said that if Lawrence Coley can get a win over a very seasoned two-time former Cruiserweight World Champion, Christoph Kloacki, he deserves all the praise in the world. And I was very worried as well from one perspective because obviously Lance Coley, he's only had 15 fights. So this was his 16th professional fight and to become world champion is phenomenal. Much like Anthony Joshua did in, coincidentally, his 16th fight as well when he, when he defeated Charles Martin. Anthony Josh, of course, manages Lawrence O'Coley. And a very, very good night at the office for Shane McGuigan as well. Of course, these other fighters won on the night as well in Anthony Fowler and Chris Benham smith So great night at the office for um, Shane McGuigan. But Lawrence O'Coley, I thought, he used everything that was at his advantage, which was his youth, his speed, his range, his height, and of course, at times, his power. And full credit to Christoph Kloacki because he had some serious, serious shots. Especially round number four, I thought that uh, Kloacki was about to get out of there when Lawrence O'Coley was just landing some pretty flush, heavy, heavy shots and Kloacki took them. I thought, okay then. So he, quite clearly, he's very, very durable. Now, we know bits about Kloacki, or I say we, myself, I know... A couple of bits about Glowacki, obviously the Maris Bredis fight, which was a one hell of a bizarre fight. He got elbowed in the face quite obviously and all that kind of thing. The referee was absolutely shambles on that night, of course, with uh, Usyk and whatever else. But he's a very, very seasoned, good, good fighter. Very, very good fighter. So for me, Lawrence Coley deserves all the credit in the world because he didn't just go out there and just land one big punch and get the win. No, he dominated that fight. All the way through up until round number six when he stopped Christoph Kloacki. It was round number six, wasn't it? Maybe it was seven. No, it was six. So he dominated him. He was using the jab and there were heavy shots as well. Heavy, heavy jabs. So fantastic. I'm very proud of him that, uh, you know, United Kingdom, we have another world champion. So it's absolutely fantastic to see Lawrence O'Connor do that in such a very, very short time. Bearing in mind, he's won the British, the Commonwealth and the European and now the world. Is he going to go on and unify in the cruiserweight division or is he, is he going to try and aim for our undisputed? Is he going to move up to heavyweight? We know long-term heavyweight, of course, is his plan. But I know Lawrence O'Coley, he does come under a lot of stick for stinking out the place sometimes with certain fights, but and it's boxing and he's still learning. And that's important. He's still learning. And here is this novice going up against a seasoned veteran, if you like, in Christoph Glowacki. Is it a bit unfair to call him that? Maybe. But... The experience would have been on the side of Christoph Glowacki, so I thought that Lawrence O'Coley showed great maturity in that fight. Great composure. Didn't really switch off. I was a little bit worried after he hurt or was landing the big shots round number four. Round number five, Lawrence O'Coley was almost relaxing a little bit, having like, like a little bit of fun. His hands were starting to come down. I thought, don't do that, lad, because this is where this southpaw guy could end up landing one on you. Don't do that. Stay focused. Win the round. If the knockout comes, it comes. If you don't, hey, you've got a very, very healthy lead going into the second half of the fight. But it didn't really matter. In the end, not only did Lawrence O'Coley win the previous five rounds, but he ended up knocking out Christoph Glowacki in round number six. And to be honest with you, when he went down, I thought it was a body shot. But clearly not. It was right on the button. So congratulations to Lawrence O'Coley. Fantastic win. Let's see what he does next. And for everybody who hates on him, Hopefully now everybody can give him a little bit of credit. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.